right, it's another Firehouse Friday. It's a day for raising awareness about the Connecticut Burn Center at Bridgeport Hospital. Joining me now are fire firefighters Ted Stanick and Fire Captain Matt Palmer from the Stanford Fire Department. Gentlemen, nice to have you here. Well, our pleasure. Good afternoon. So what are we making today? I see a lot of, uh, kind of an Asian twist here, right? Yeah, we've got a lot of different ingredients. Uh, it's uh, an item that I kind of cobbled together after having a couple different items out in restaurants. Uh, it's got a lot of different flavors. Uh, some of them are pretty interesting, but they really come together well at the end. So and you it's say. Nice and healthy, and <laughs> it's easy, so I say, yeah. Uh, <laughs> All I right, can well, we can get started. You guys be the judge of that. Uh, very simply, uh, peanuts play a large role in Thai food, so uh, we went with uh, peanut butter instead, crunchy, extra crunchy. Oh, isn't this uh, unique? I yeah, like this. It's, uh, it's going to be in every firehouse cabinet. It's nice and easy, gives a lot of flavor, big bang for your buck, obviously. Some protein in there, too. Some protein in there, big, big on flavor. Okay. Then we've got, uh, we use some jasmine rice today. I love the perfume in the jasmine rice, so we're just going to put that in. Uh, a lot of times we're simply using whatever rice is in the cabinet, whether it's white rice or a lot of times we use brown rice on the job. Okay. Uh, next is going to be some black beans. All so right. again, a lot of different flavors here. You get the the perfume out of the jasmine now, rice. Now, let, let me ask you, if you were to make this at the firehouse, would this be like a buffet, or are you making burritos for everybody, uh, wrapping them up? No, <laughs> everyone's going to wrap their own. You're going to put the items on the table. It's nice, because if somebody doesn't like cilantro, leave it off, Leave right? it off. If somebody doesn't like uh, fresh lime juice, or they don't prefer the uh, jasmine rice, or they have a peanut allergy, you can kind of mix it up. It's easy at home. You can throw a couple sweet potatoes in the oven for mm -hmm. 45 minutes or an hour. And then uh, everything can go. be put together at room temperature. You can grill your chicken, you can roast it, or this is actually a rotisserie bought chicken. Most of your markets are easy. Yeah. very <laughs> easy and really easier. inexpensive, and the work's done for you already. So right. uh, if just continue here. Are you going to put some chickens and sweet potatoes in there? And why you do sweet that, potatoes. Captain Matt, tell me about why the Bridgeport Burn Center is so important. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's an outstanding facility, and we're happy to be supporters. Um, in Stanford, we actually have two, through the Stanford Fire Rescue Department, we have two nonprofit uh, organizations which support um, different uh, community-based um, uh, um, facilities, mm -hmm. uh, the oldest of which, and, and the reason why we're here, is the Stanford Firefighters Burn Foundation, which was actually formed in 1983 following a, a pretty catastrophic fire in the south end of Stanford in which several firefighters were seriously injured mm -hmm. and had to have some uh, uh, recovery at the uh, Valhalla uh, Westchester Medical Center up in Valhalla, and that this uh, foundation was formed then primarily for burn research, burn treatment, burn care, and of which since their inception, um, they've raised hundreds of thousands of dollars, which have gone to multiple uh, organizations throughout our state and throughout, in, in including Westchester County, but Bridgeport Hospital is one of which, which we, we've been happy to give them over $50,000 to date. Uh, so that's the first of which, and the second of which is a, is a, um, a new organization of which I'm chairman of, and it's the Stanford Fire Safety Foundation Fund, and this is an organization which was just, uh, literally just last week we received mm -hmm. notice that our uh, um, our 501c3 was, was okay. has been recognized. So we're, we're coming together as an incorporated or organization, but uh, that was formed following the Christmas Day tragedy this past year in Stanford, and our, our primary goal is to provide smoke detectors and have firefighters do the installations uh, throughout the city of Stanford sure and raise properly. money through the community and exactly go out and, and, and physically go into people's homes, check their detectors, and also provide detectors to people who, who may need them who don't uh, have them presently. Very so, important programs. Yeah. All right. Um, I guess back to the uh, burrito here. I noticed you add. What did you add here? I uh, added a little bit of uh, Thai sweet chili sauce. There's no heat to this. A lot of sweet. Um, and again, we started with our wrap. We did our crunchy peanut butter, our jasmine rice, our black beans, our sweet potato, and roasted chicken. Uh, we put the the uh, sweet chili sauce on with some fresh cilantro, cilantro again okay. to your taste. And then. Uh, do we like Spice heat? it up, sure. Like heat? <laughs> this is uh, sriracha. You can find it in just about any supermarket these days in your Asian aisle. Uh, it's got great flavor, a lot of garlic in there, uh, and it is uh, the Thai hot Oh, it's spicy. Sauce, so it's got <laughs> it. Yeah. And then this is, uh, this this is the, the tricky this part, This be the like. easiest part or the most difficult part, depending <laughs> on uh, how ready for television we are here today. There we go. So, Nicely done. It's like you've bad. done this before. We've, had, we've got a little cooperation today, luckily. So... Looks and that's great. really all there is to it. Ooh, and we're going to try that at the end of the show. Most of these items you can serve at room temperature. You could set it out as a buffet. It's fun with kids. Uh, it's easy to work around dietary restrictions or preferences. So. And what's uh, the cucumber salad you made here? That's just a simple, quick little Asian cucumber salad. Just uh, sliced up the cucumbers, a little bit of thinly sliced red onion, some, uh, a couple drops of sesame oil, some rice wine vinegar, uh, and some fresh lime juice, and then just some black sesame seeds. You guys eat healthy there, so. at, uh, in Stanford. Yeah. We try. We do try. Tell us a little bit about the fire department. How many are there? 
In Stanford, there's actually yeah. six fire departments, which is unique. Uh, okay. We have the city fire department, and then there's five independent volunteer fire fire departments in Stanford. So all together, there's uh, approximately 270 career firefighters and about 100 volunteer firefighters throughout the city of Stanford. So it's a, it's a unique setup. It's a good setup. Uh, and, uh, you know, the organizations work well together. And you're the best chef? <laughs> no, no, no. Geez, that's, if I ever claim so. that, that's, no. Well, so. you made some no, great burritos good, for us. Lots of good cooks. There's lots of, there's lots of good talent. cooks. Yeah, good, yeah. good. All right, guys, we're going to taste this at the end of the show, and of course, with the recipe at WTNH.com. And you at home can help the Connecticut Burn Center at Bridgeport Hospital by making a donation. Go to ctburncenter.wtnh.com, and uh, you'll find some more information on our website there as well.